multi-channel sound system is very popular for home theater now, and many audiophiles also enjoy them for movies and games. But for music listening, many audiophiles still prefer to use the stereo sound system instead. More than 10 years ago, some audio experts have predicted the stereo sound reproduction was dead due to the multi-channel sound system with SACD and DVD audio introduced. But up to now this is not happening for critical listeners like audiophile. Why? Based on Dr. Floyd Toole and Dr. Sean Olive's studies, it is well established scientifically that the potential of two-channel audio is very limited when compared to multi-channel, such as in terms of spatial envelopment, apparent source width, localization, wide sweet spot, dialogue intelligibility, better timber from discrete sources versus phantom images, which cause crosstalk cancellation that shifts with head movement. Multi-channel music can provide much better sound ambience and spaciousness, so it is very good for symphony music when it is done properly. It works very well for home theater on movies and games. But audiophile purists tends to stick with stereo music instead. The main reason is due to the room reflection issue. Stereo sound system is much simpler for sound reflection, comparing to the multi-channel system like 5.1 or 7.1 environment. The more speakers will cause more sound reflection from the boundaries of the room, so they will interfere each other and blur the sound clarity. When you are watching TV or playing games so your brain is busy for video image processing or focusing on the reaction of movie and game, so your listening attention is much less focusing on the music, then it works very well. But when audiophiles want to have critical listening, they can hear all the room reflection blurring the sound. This causes the sound clarity degraded significantly comparing to the stereo sound system. Stereo sound system is facing the similar room reflection issue, but since there is only two speakers to deal with, so it is relatively simpler to optimize your speaker's placement to optimize the sound. Some multi-channel music is mastered properly so the surround sound is managed correctly then they do provide better sound experiences than the stereo system. But most of them does not sound as good as the stereo version of the same master sound. Mastering the multi-channel music will require much more careful work and skill to get it right. To minimize the room reflection for multi-channel music, you could have the listening room heavily treated with absorption to minimize the reflection effect. But without reflection, the sound may become dry and lifeless for the stereo sound system. As mentioned in my other episode, for stereo listening room, we shall manage the RT60 between 0.3 and 0.6 to enjoy more lively and clear sound. For multi-channel music listening we shall treat the room with RT60 below 0.3 to get better music listening experience. Basically you want to eliminate the room reflection as much as possible to listen to multi-channel music. In this case, the surround channel's sound will be replacing the reflected sound to form the proper sound spaciousness. Room reflection for sound is part of the sound experience you want to enjoy, especially for stereo speakers music listening, as the proper reflection is the key factor to add the musicality of timbre, liveness, and spaciousness for stereo sound. Without proper sound reflection from the stereo speakers, the sound could be dry and thin. Without sound reflection from the room, it is hard to make your speakers disappear from the stereo phantom sound field, or it will make your sound stage narrower than your speaker's placement distance between the two speakers. In home theaters for movies and games, it is common to use multidirectional loudspeakers, for example bipoles or dipoles, well above ear level, on each of the side walls and back walls for the surround channels, creating a lot of reflected sound to create very large sound field with excellent music ambience. Bass is typically provided by a dedicated subwoofer channel. Home theater sound system can give you much larger sound spaciousness effect and excellent surround sound experiences. It is perfect for action movies with car chasing or explosion sound effects. For symphony music, the multi-channel version typically can give you better enjoyment as the back channel can provide some symphony hall experience if they are mastered properly. Most of the sound is actually still coming from the two front main speakers. But for most music listening, the band, or orchestra are typically in front of us so our brain expects the good sound stage and sound imaging in front of us, as we experienced in real life. Clarity is one of the most critical sound quality that the audiophile is chasing for. Sound reflection from the room boundaries will have some delay time so our ears will treat them differently. Too much reflection or too much multipath sound inferences to our ears, the sound will become blurred and lose the clarity, which is why audiophiles still prefer stereo sound system for music listening. If you have the experience to listen both stereo and multi-channel music in a relative life room, you might have the wow effect when you switch from stereo sound to multi-channel sound, as the multi-channels can give you more spacious live sound environment. But after listening the multi-channels for one hour or so, 
You might be tired of all the ambient sound effect, now when you switch from the multi-channels back to the stereo sound system you will suddenly realize how much the stereo sound can provide you as the clearer sound. Suddenly your brain will be calm, peaceful, and all the beautiful sound is in tranquility sound heaven. If your stereo speakers are set up properly, using the right speakers, you can listen to them for many hours without fatigue or tiring due to the golden sound from two stereo speakers. Enjoy listening.